welcome to Hazel Jane Tarot and today I'm bringing you an oracle deck review of the deck Manifesting Your Greatness which I've been working through through the month of September. So this deck is by Amy Chase and it's published by Red Feather um, which is a imprint of Schiffer. So this deck I came across um, Oh gosh, a couple of years ago when I started using Instagram, I came across the creator, Amy Chase, and um, we sort of had a, a few back and forth about her art. Um, you know, we chatted a little bit about her art and her deck, and she'd said it was available on Amazon. So I have had this on my, had it on my wish list for a really long time, like about a year and a half at least. And then I finally pulled the pin and bought it. And it's not an expensive deck. It's, as I say, it's a mass market deck. Um, so here's, um, that's a little bit of information about the creator. So I think she principally works as an artist. Um, and uh, the the deck then features her her really, really cool, really vibrant art. Um, so it comes with this little book and the deck is in this cardboard insert. So it's a nice box. It's, um, there must be a magnet in it because it's snap and closed. It's some sort of magnetic closure. I've damaged my box because... I had it on a high shelf and it fell off um so that was my fault not the fault of the box at all um it's a really nice little box with the um ribbon hinges and this vibrant blue which is featured on the edging as well so um the inset is you could take it out if you don't like it but it's cardboard and it's sealed around there so the cards don't slide and get stuck which they do sometimes in other boxes so it's a really nice box um nice as a tabletop um box and nice on a shelf as well um you know if you haven't thrown yours on the floor like i did um and then the the cards themselves are lovely so they've got this really unusual back design um you know the, the pink and reds um and i'm not sure what the the significance of this sort of winged dog is but it's cute um, and I, I don't mind the backs. I mean, I don't love the backs. They're not my favourite thing about this deck, but I don't mind them. But I love, 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 look at that. Blue shiny edging. I don't know if you can see how shiny that is in the, ah, there, look, in the light. So it's really, really nice edging. And the other thing that I love about this deck is it's, um, it's lovely cardstock. Now, some people might find that thin. I don't find that thin. I think it's lovely cardstock to work with. Firstly, it fans beautifully. And listen, it makes that gorgeous, um, that gorgeous shh, shh noise. Which I think is that combination of the really matte cardstock and the, the metallic edging that gives it that sound. The only other deck I have that makes that exact sound is the Spirit Keeper's Tarot by Benabel Wen, which is a really expensive independently produced deck. So um, I think Red Feather have done really well with the cardstock on this one. So this is a really great little deck um, for advice. Um, the messages in the cards are all um, about advice and action. And they're really busy. The artwork is really busy and really, really colorful. Um, I actually thought about changing my back cloth um, for this um, in case it, it was just too many colours at once. So they tend to have um, a, a verb, like a verb-led statement. So think, new, see, fresh. You know, so um, what's the word I'm looking for? Imperative statements, you know, um, instructions to you. So that little one reminds me of the Page of Cups seeing the, the, the little fish. Um so this one, it's not even about you. Fine. <laughs> I, I've pulled that um, a few times this month, maybe twice. And it's really, that's such useful advice. It's not even about you. Fear nothing. Gorgeous. That's um, the same artwork as we have on the book. Every breath can be a new beginning. Oh, that's such a cool one. I didn't pull that one this month. It's Beautiful art. One of the things that some people might not like about this deck is that each card is totally different in terms of its design. You know, a lot of decks, the borders are the same on every card. Um, you know, the, the composition of the images is vaguely the same, but here these are completely different, as you can see. You can build any kind of life you want. Focus on one thing at a time. 
good advice. Uh, that's don't look at your phone, just get on with the one thing. Visualize abundance. Music has what you need. Go out on a limb. I love the prime, the such bright colors and the color contrast is great. Get out of your own way. Get out of your own way. So and see what I mean? This is a totally different one with this big black border. Move your body. Embrace imperfect color with crayons. So this is a great deck for, say, if you're working on a creative project um, and you are wanting something to give you motivation, giving you, you know, next steps and so on. Learn to defend yourself. But it's manifest your greatness. You know, it doesn't have to be, you know, as you set up your own business or as you're working creatively. Um, it could be anything, you know, about having your best, you know, living your best life, as they say. Use your words. Love that. Find a little divinity in yourself. Stay the course. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. You know, so this artwork, I don't think it'd be everybody's taste, but I just find it so colourful, so quirky. Um, and the messages and advice are really on point. They're straightforward um, and really encouraging. Look at that. So different, the style of that. Simplify. Continue. Lighten up. Oh, beautiful. Explore your depths. So... There's lots of different um lots of different messages in the cards. The book is um I don't the book doesn't add a huge amount to the, the, your readings, you know, the the messages on the cards themselves are really straightforward and useful. Um with the deck, it's a really nice deck book though, so I wouldn't want, you know, I, I appreciate having the book because it is really nice. You've got the art presented on big, um, big images, as well as the card image. You know, so there's a really um, a lot of art here. It's a nice little art book showcasing the art on the cards. Um, and then there's, as you can see, some bullet points to break down each of the cards with a little bit more, um, a little bit more information. But you don't need to reference this guidebook every time you pull a card. You know, the messages of the card are straightforward enough on their own. So let's um, let's just see for an example then um, of um, a card and the extra message that you get in the book. So there's multiple streams of income. So there's no number on the cards, but they are in alphabetical order in the book. So multiple streams of income. So we've got the detail of the art on the card and then we have some bullet points. So as an entrepreneur, it's a good idea to have multiple streams of income. For example, there's more than one website online to sell your artwork or goods. Um, branch out, diversify your offerings, collaborate with some like-minded individuals to create or enhance a project, keep reading or researching. Sometimes a trip to the library can inspire and then see the entrepreneurship card so if we refer over to 11, then that's got some further um, tips on entrepreneurship um, and coming up with other ideas. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, uh, so the messages, you know, do give a little bit of extra information. And as I say, it's a lovely book, really nicely presented, um, really nicely presented book. But the cards themselves do have enough of a message that can work. So I use these as um, for in two different ways this month. I use them as a daily card. So I was pulling an oracle card and a tarot card. So I pulled one of these and um, the messages were really nice, clear um, messages for the day and to have a card sitting out displayed for the day. They were nice to look at as well. And then the other way I used it was when I was doing... Um, uh, bigger, larger readings, especially readings for others. Um, I use this from time to time if I felt it was appropriate to the question. 
to uh, pull one card as a kind of supporting card for advice or for the to support the reading. So particularly useful if you're doing readings about things like career um, and kind of passion projects and hobbies and that sort of thing. Um, not maybe so useful for things like relationship readings, but definitely for general lifestyle um, lifestyle and work and hobbies and things like that. It's a great deck. So I'm nearly at the end, so I might as well show you the rest of the cards. I pulled that one a few times this month as well. And this, this came up for me a lot. <laughs> uh, this was the most most pulled card from this deck this month. So lovely comp deck. Um, shuffles really nicely. Um, you know, they just slide into each other. It makes a lovely sound when you shuffle it. Um, so really recommend this one. Um, especially if you enjoy doing any kind of work-related business career or kind of living your best lifestyle readings. It's a great um, oracle deck for that. So thanks for watching. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe.